has been a little while since I posted anything, but I've been waiting, waiting for time to do it, and uh, and for this uh, Mystique, um, I was actually hoping to uh, get Electra before Mystique, um, but that one's been pushed back, and uh, so now we have Mystique, and I have time, so here's the review, hooray! Um, so this one's pretty good. I I, I mean. <clears throat> They're all pretty good, obviously, but uh, as they go, uh, I'm, I like this one a lot. A uh, couple of little, maybe, uh, points of contention here. Sorry for the shakies. Um, one thing is that uh, her eyes have pupils. Mystique doesn't have pupils, and her eyes are just yellow. But um, these eyes are done pretty well. They have... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking they do this with other Bishojo figures. They have like a, a separate piece of glossy plastic uh, laid inside the eye socket of the mold. Uh, that's yellow. And then uh, in a kind of a brighter yellow, they have her uh, her pupils themselves. And it's a pretty cool little effect. It, makes, uh, it goes a long way making it feel... Um, uh, uh, gives it a good feel of quality. Like they've they put... Uh, a good amount of effort into it. Um, so that's, that's probably my favorite part of the figure, and it's <laughs> the part that I was wondering about because she doesn't have pupils. Um, of course, in Shunya Yamashita's illustration, she has pupils, amongst other things. The uh, illustration matches the end result, or the end result matches the illustration pretty well. It's not 100% accurate. Uh, I don't know if they can't do 100% accurate if they're not trying to do 100% accurate, but um, one thing that I, I, it doesn't bother me, but I, I did notice it and it's a little odd, is that uh, her Mystique skin is kind of like powder blue. Um, and, you know, even in the illustration, it's a little darker, and Mystique's definitely a darker blue than this. This is like powder blue, baby blue. And uh, that's fine, it looks good in the end result, but she looks a little. A little chalky for Mystique. Um, no problem. Uh, as far as the figure goes, um, mine is almost perfect. Uh, I have a couple of little flaws. I don't know if you can see them. The seam's a little ugly right there, but not a big deal. But there's a little spot of paint right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a, a spot that didn't dry right away, and there's like a little too much paint there. There's a little fleck right there. I'm not sure what that's about, but other than that, uh, not a big deal. I'm not uh, worried about it. You can't really see it at a distance. Uh, her belt uh, is loose. It kind of just lays on her. Um, underneath the belt, <clears throat> she comes off, <laughs> she doesn't peg into the base very well. Um, I'll get into that in a second, but uh, there's a little seam right here where the uh, these little flowing parts of her dress attach to the actual mold. Uh, it's not all one mold, of course, so they have to attach it somehow. And uh, they kind of worked it in to make it look like it's kind of a designy kind of seam that would be on the dress anyway, so that's cool. But even then, the uh, belt covers up most of it anyway. You don't really see it. Um, so that's good. Now, I'm sure you're not going to be running around making her fight X Men. Excuse my hand, too. My friend's cat got me. <laughs> Um, you're not going to make her f run around and fight X-Men and do crazy stuff, so there's not really, it's not crucial that she stays pegged to her base very well, but uh, mine doesn't. So, But she stays put. She's not going to fall off or anything, that's for sure. Um, speaking of which, this is kind of a pretty stable figure. I guess her stance could answer that, but um, the base I'm not excited about. Uh, just a clear plastic base. It's fine. It, it doesn't get in the way or anything. It doesn't distract. But there's so many other cooler bases. I have Miss Marvel here for a size comparison later. But you can just see her base is nothing, really. But it's so much cooler looking than, than what she's got. Um, it's not very dynamic. They got the X-23 coming up next. And it looks like she's just on like a circle of dirt. Which is not very interesting to me. But uh, since they started doing things like the uh, colored, the translucent hair, which Mystique also has. Uh, it seems like the bases are not quite where they were before. I'm not sure if that's an actual compromise they made or, or what, but that's something I noticed. Um, she has a little uh, Uzi 
comes out of her hand. Uh, I'll show you the hand without the Uzi. Um, it's, it looks a little unnatural. Like if you didn't want her holding the gun, it would look weird, really. They didn't really sculpt much in the inside of her hand. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't want her holding a gun. Mystique kind of is a gun nut. Um, so, uh, she's not known for guns, I guess, but that's that. Um, I've always liked M Mystique's design, just Mystique herself, when she's not shape-shifting and everything. Uh, I've always dug her as a character, um, so I'm glad that they didn't get cute. <laughs> and by that I mean, uh, you know, it may have been, would have been interesting, her shape-shifting into something else, or maybe having different elements of different characters in her, but uh, I like the, the straight-up Mystique design, so uh, no problems with, with that for me. Her hand is going into her hair. There's no hand there. It just kind of slips in behind her head. But there's plenty of room in between there to, you know, the, her hand very well could be in there. It's not, uh, it's done really well, so it doesn't matter that they didn't sculpt the hand. It's it's fine. Um, doing it the way they did, it's better that they didn't sculpt the hand. They did, and they, they got that right. No problems there. A um, little bit of seams on her head, not th really a big deal. It's not as bad as... Uh, some of the other figures they've done. Um, I have seen a review about her complaining about seams um, kind of here and there, but the seams for me don't really stand out at all. I I haven't really noticed them from afar. I'm going to show you the box real quick. Um, there's the art, of course. <clears throat> Let me do this. Um, so, on the back of the box it has kind of a lengthy little uh, bio thing on here. And it kind of talks about the statue and um, Mystique as a character. Sorry, I'm really shaky today. I, can't, I don't really have uh, my normal setup, so bear with me here. Um, but it says here in the bio somewhere, where is it? Uh, right there. Um, the last time we saw the Ninja Warrior Electra. Last time we saw the Ninja Warrior Electra, uh, of course... They didn't bother to rewrite that or just take that line out. Maybe next time we'll see the Ninja Warrior Electra, but Electra obviously hasn't been released yet. Um, I was looking forward to Electra. Hopefully they actually do release her. I'm pretty sure they will. They've got uh, lots of pre-orders, I'm sure, I mean, mine being one of them. Uh, and then, of course, X-23 is next. Well, I don't know about next, but coming soon. Hopefully Electra's next, because X-23 is not going to be out until, like, uh, March, I think. So... Uh, hopefully it doesn't take that long for Electra to come out. But I'm super stoked about uh, X-23. Uh, her design's a little cute, I guess, but all the girls are cute, and I don't really mind it that much because it is it is Shunya Yamashita style. Um, but maybe it was something a little more threatening would have been good for X-23. Anyway, well, that, I'll save that for when I actually get that figure. Um, but can't wait for that one. That one's going to be great. So that's that. Um, uh... Mystique's paint is fine. The, her dress is kind of a pearlescent white. You've probably seen that already in the pictures and uh, maybe other videos. Um, the uh, detail's pretty good. The little skull that she has on her head looks pretty good. It's uh, it's not perfect, but it's as perfect as it's going to get. I don't think you can do any better than that. That's fine. Uh, the skulls around her belt are all um, painted pretty accurately. There's not, uh, it, you know, it's it's fine for what it is. No problems there. I don't have any qualms with that. Doesn't stand out. Even if there were some flaws here and there, you wouldn't notice them really. But uh, they did a pretty good job. Uh, this would be an, something easy to mess up, I'd imagine. So um, the fact that it came out well, um, I can appreciate that. Uh, she's wearing these crazy high heels with a little bit of a seam on mine. Oops. See if I can find it. Uh, right there. It's kind of a little gap in paint. Again, small little detail that no one's really going to care about, but uh, there it is. Um, Size-wise, <clears throat> a quick couple of size comparisons. Let me see if I can get her a little more. She doesn't really, mine doesn't really stay on her feet. Uh, her, mm, sorry, let's see here, let me get that in there. Um, her right foot is kind of levitated or raised off the, uh, what is going on here? There we go. It's kind of... <laughs> screw it. Um, but you can kind of see, like that would be 
the ground and the, her her uh, her right leg kind of her foot's not touching the ground um, little detail I didn't notice uh, before in pictures or anything like that and I'm not sure if it's just that's the way mine is I don't think that's the case it looks like they kind of t intended it to be that way um, I don't know if I can show there you go you get an idea there anyway uh, size wise she's uh, pretty big she's about on par I'd say with like a Catwoman or uh, Jean Grey um, but here she is of course she's on her knees so it's kind of a small package and she's a small figure because of it but uh, it's a cool pose I like it um, but here's her compared to like the largest uh, whoops the Shoujo figure arguably maybe not arguably I think this Marvel's obviously the largest uh, Bishojo figure they've made so far. And then uh, compared to uh, Rogue, she's a little bit more on par with Rogue, it would seem. Uh, and I guess that's just because she's short, because she's on her knees. But uh, at any rate, uh, they're the two. So kind of size-wise, there's uh, the range there. And then, you know, if you don't have uh, any of these Bishojo figures, a little something more in range. This is a three and three quarter uh, Psylocke. Speaking of which, they're uh, redoing um, Scarlet Witch. Not Scarlet Witch. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> they're redoing uh, oh Black Widow. Good lord. Um, Black Widow is getting a, a second figure in the larger scale. Uh, the original being more like Rogue. Hopefully the new one's going to be more closer to uh, Miss Marvel here. Um, I'm hoping though that they also do a Psylocke, uh, redo a Psylocke. I don't have the original Psylocke. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I really like Psylocke as a character. I like her more than um, probably any of the other Bishojos to come out so far. Um, second, probably only X23 as far as my love of characters. But uh, I'm hoping that they redo her because she'd be awesome. New Psylocke, please, Koto, if you're listening, do it, do it. Um, I don't know, I guess that's about it. I, I don't really know what else to say about her. She's a little powder bluey. Her hair is cool. Uh, the sculpt is nice. The, fi the pose is nice. Um, the figure came out great. I'm very happy with it. Um, I say if you are thinking about getting it, if you're not quite sure if you want to or not, I say get it. Um, she's pretty cool. Her uh, The only thing that's a little weird, and I kind of had this issue with uh, Jean Grey a little bit, is that you have to be well below this figure to see where she's looking. So it always looks like she's just kind of looking down at something. Uh, where it's a lot cooler if she's looking at you, I think. Like that. But you'd have to be underneath the shelf or whatever she's on. Uh, not a big deal, I guess. But uh. Uh, Kotobukiya, Marvel Bishoujo statue, Mystique. Thanks for watching.